there from Louisiana. Mr. President, uh, today I have the honor and to, to recognize and thank my colleague and friend, the Honorable Senator David Vitter, for his 25 years of service to Louisiana. Our state has been fortunate to have him as his voice and advocate in this chamber for the past 12 years. On a personal note, when I arrived at the Senate, David worked with me, sharing with me some of the privileges that normally he as a senior senator could have kept all to himself. And with great graciousness, he worked with me, said, listen, this is how I think the process should be set up, and I would like you to have some of this privilege as well. I will do that same with whomever replaces David. He has set a pattern that, again, by its graciousness and magnanimity, uh, deserves uh, repetition. As a new senator, I was fortunate to have him as a resource for advice and knowledge that comes from time and experience in this body. Uh, there's some things that are happened here that you have to kind of have experience to follow. And David had both the experience and the sharpness and the insight to recognize. I again look forward to sharing what he has taught me with whomever takes his place. And I will note as David did, he helped lead our state through some of our worst times. From Hurricane Katrina in 2005 to the great flood of 2016, all the way in between, David has worked hard to make sure that Louisiana and the people of Louisiana have what they need to recover. The hallmark of Senator Vitter's tenure is that he's always cared deeply about our state, constantly looking for what he could do that would benefit our state, not just in the short term, but doing that which consistent with his principles to help Louisiana and the United States thrive in the long term. He has been on the side of that family whose father goes for two weeks works on an oil rig in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, working hard so that his family has a better future. Or David's been on the side of that mom, juggling two jobs to earn enough to make sure that her children's needs are met. Uh, just a recent example, again, for that short term and that long term perspective that David handled so well. Uh, he stayed persistent for years, working across the aisle, first with Senator Frank Lautenberg, then Senator Udall, to pass the much-needed reform of the Toxic Substance Control Act, first reform of its kind in 40 years. Now, this reform protect both the worker, that person on that rig, perhaps, or at least the person who would be processing the, the products of that rig, but also gave the manufacturers in Louisiana and across the country the certainty they needed to expand their businesses and to create more jobs. On a lighter note, Dave's a great Saints fan. Um, and we in Louisiana kind of liked the fact that when the slogan, who dat, came up spontaneously and people started to put it on the shirts and the NFL was gonna to go to court to stop this from happening. David wrote a letter to Roger Goodell and the letter start off, started off by saying, who dat? <laughs> So speaking truth to power on behalf of the uh, Houdat Nation is one credit of his. Similarly, David was tweeting before our president-elect made it perhaps as high profile. I remember during the 2013 Super Bowl in New Orleans, and, and again, the context of this is that the Saints had just been punished. Of course, Saints fans think unfairly uh, by Roger Goodell. So during the 2013 Super Bowl in New Orleans, when the power went out, David's tweet, without missing a beat, said, quote, like most Saints fans, I'm immediately assuming Roger Goodell is the chief suspect for the power adage. The quick-witted quit cut to the emotion of, this, of the Houdat Nation. As the 114th Congress comes to a close, the Senate will be losing an important member. David brings a sound, strategic mind to this chamber that will be missed. I wish him, Wendy, their children, Lisa, Lisa uh, Sophie, and Ari, and Jack, the best of luck in their journey forward. And on behalf of all in Louisiana, I say thank you. Mr. President, I yield back. Mr. President. Senator from Louisiana. Uh, 